Any of you ever remember a moment or come across a photo of yourself when you were a little girl, a little boy, and you knew you could be anything you wanted, an astronaut, a doctor, a lawyer, a superhero, a person who changes people's lives. Every one of you at some point had fairy tales, didn't you? We use fantasy to get us from point A to point B. And then we get to the place where it's time to be an adult. And that bright future we saw as children, we shut us down. Being imperfect doesn't stop you from growing. And as we age, we tend to forget how liberating fantasies can be. You see, children are geniuses at raising the bar for themselves, clearing it, and then setting it one notch higher so we can get there. They inspire us to dig deeper for the strength to what feels the hardest and the scariest. Why do we reach for the wrong things? We're afraid of failure. We're afraid of the result if we try. You see, people tend to think of children as weak and vulnerable and fragile little people. And I say they're different. I say they're little giants. Their minds can expand to any reality. Their bodies and souls are amazingly resilient. Their spirits can soar and face enormous physical and emotional pain. And they still smile and they still get through it. And sometimes they comfort us in our pain. And what I've personally discovered again and again is that children can model courage and character if we only pay attention to them. I want to wake you up. Today, your homework is to write down who you are. I want you to know who you are. Let me tell you who I am. I'm Lauren Reitinger. I'm a woman who's in love with her life and her family. I am a force of nature. Do not mess with me. I am determined to make a difference. Let me tell you the biggest form of neglect in life is when we as parents don't show our children that anything is possible. When we don't show our children that we are possible, it's neglect. You are not invisible here. You are seen.